hi everybody welcome back to my channel made with love my name is Heather and today I'm going to make a very quick and easy lemon poppy seed loaf using a cake mix this is the lemon cake mix so first thing is I have to say I've seen people do recipes with poppy seeds and I I cook a lot with pops poppy seeds and one thing is I know people just put them in whole and they don't crush them or they don't do anything with them so when you're using poppy seeds I don't know if it's just people don't know this. Oops, my camera is going to fall over. I'm going to have to get a new stand. Oops. Okay, there. Okay, so when you're using poppy seeds, you have to grind them or soak them in warm or hot water or milk. So my recipe for this cake, it takes a cup of water so I've got my cup of boiling water here it's had a couple minutes to kind of cool down so I'm not burning my fingers with the glass and then for this recipe I'm using a about a quarter cup oops, of poppy seeds I don't know how much I have left I don't know if I even have a quarter cup I have a quarter cup so I've got a quarter cup of poppy seeds and one cup of water I'm gonna pour the poppy seeds in the water and what this will do is it will break down the shell like the poppy seeds have a hard shell and if you don't grind or if you don't soak the poppy seeds like you can do this in boiling water or boiling milk for about half an hour or you can just let them soak overnight and if you don't grind or don't soak with the hard shell with the little hard shell uh, it's harder to digest them I know some people like the hard crunchy texture of the poppy seeds. I like that too, but if you have trouble digesting uh, the poppy seeds because of the hard coatings, you have to do this. And I don't know why every recipe I was looking up to make these, not one of them had mentioned uh, doing this. So now I'm just gonna let this sit aside for about half an hour or until this has reached uh, room temperature. Over in the meantime, I've got my oven and started to preheat my oven at 350. So I'm just going to set that aside. And then hopefully with this recipe, I will get two nice loaves. Those are my nice loaf pans. And then I've got poppy seeds all over my counter here. I'm just going to quickly spray my can, my pans. And I'm just going to set them aside. So my thing is very simple. It's just going to bug me. So my bowl's not level. Okay, very, very simple. So it's just one box of yellow cake mix. I like to use the lemon one because it's already got the lemon flavor. And it's one box of lemon pudding has to be the instant not the other cooking kind so I find this the instant pudding and a half a cup of oil one cup of water quarter cup of poppy seeds and four eggs so it's a really simple easy recipe so I'm just gonna get all this other stuff mixed together there's my cake mix and my jello, uh, lemon jello pudding. And, uh, lemon pudding, I guess. And then I'm just gonna set that aside for a second because I gotta do the eggs. And it says the eggs, you know, for uh, room temperature. So these have been sitting out for a while. So these are now at room temperature. Uh, slightly beaten. Now, I like to always put mine in a separate dish. Anytime I try to bake or cook and I don't put my eggs in a dish, I usually end up with shells. Slightly beat 
eggs and add that to your so it's a very easy basic recipe it's not a lot of ingredients and then i need a quarter or half a cup of oil i'm going to skip my measurements wrong now this one here it says that this is the olive oil this is not olive oil this is my mix of a bit of olive oil and some of the other oil i don't remember if it was canola oil or vegetable oil my container lid broke so i just poured it into this extra bottle i have exactly half a cup just making sure there's nothing left in that cup there so now i'm going to mix this all together See, it's starting to look like it's been over mixed. This is where it really needs the liquid. So now I'm just going to set this aside. I'm just going to check on this because it's been sitting for a little while now. Now it doesn't seem like it because I had my video paused for a minute or for a few moments while I was doing this. Now this has had some time to soak. I don't think it's quite been long enough. So I'm just going to grab my little mortar and pestle and just give them a quick little grind. All right, so I got my mortar and pestle. So I'm just going to pour this in here. Doesn't all want to come out. Like I could have just skipped this soaking and I could have just put it in my little, I have a little coffee grinder, one that I use only for spices, but I thought I would try the soaking method. I'm just going to give it a quick little grind here. I'm just trying to break the shell of the poppy seeds. So all you're trying to do is just and it will also help release some of the flavor too, because I think it's another problem is people don't say they don't like poppy seeds because it has no flavor. Well, poppy seeds actually do have a quite a good flavor if you just know how to release the flavor. So I've given that a good grind. So I'm gonna pour this all into here. This didn't quite work. This bowl is straight granite, so it's quite heavy. So I'm curious how much this weighs. I think it weighs about as much as my cat. So I'm just going to mix this all in. My oven is preheated now. It buzzed a few moments, a few minutes ago. So I know my oven's preheated. And I've got it set to 350, and this should take about 45 minutes. I don't know exactly, it just just because you're making a cake or a loaf. I guess it's more like a, a loaf, so like a bread. So it'll take about that close to probably 45 minutes or so until you know if your cake tester comes out clean but I'll let you know how long it takes to cook pour some in here Actually, can I take that one? You know, I think I might just be able to make one pan <laughs> I'm just gonna finish putting this 
in here and get this in the oven and I'll be back when I put it out and I'll let you know how long it took to cook. All right, I just want to say yes, with my dog barking, I wasn't quite sure if you heard, but I put it in the oven at uh, 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, my oven is a convection, so I have it on convection bake. So it does uh, cook a little faster. Uh, I've also have my timer set for 40 minutes because I'm not quite sure exactly how long it's going to take to bake. I, you know, just a basic cake mix always says, you know, it takes so long. And, I, and then I do know this is more like a loaf, so it's like a bread, so it's going to take a little longer. Let's see, there's the instru let's see. Yeah, so even this could take like uh, up to half an hour just to bake a basic cake mix. So when I was looking at this recipe and it said this would be cooked in 25 minutes, that didn't look right to me. So I do know cooking, um, so if you put the uh, cake mix into like a bread pan, you make it more dense, it will take twice as long to cook as if you have it in a single layer more spread out. So I will be back. When I'm pulling it out of the oven, I'll let you know exactly how long it took to cook. All right, I'm back. I've got my loaf out of the oven. So 40 minutes and I checked on it. And when I moved the uh, rack, it kind of jiggled like it was still wet in the center. So I covered it with the foil. Put in for another 10 minutes, still a little moist in the center, so another another 10 minutes. And so now it took, uh, it was like total for an hour and five minutes. And it looks good. I just left my little oven mitts on the other side of my counter. Oh, here they are. Not as far as I thought they were. I'll split. Just got that nice split right down the center there. Looks really good. So now I'm just going to flip it over so I can put it on the cooling rack. And this is usually a little tricky. Sometimes I can do this in one try, sometimes I can't. Let's see. Oops. See, it doesn't want to come out. <laughs> okay, I have this. Uh, I got this at the dollar store, really cheap. Um, but it's got this, it's really floppy. It was in a plastic case, so I didn't realize just how much it bent. So I'm just going to flip this back over because usually it's just something is stuck, like you know, just around the sides somewhere. And then because this actually bends, I can actually put this down into the pan and it actually bends completely under the loaf. And I use this for cakes that are stuck too. Now see it's stuck right there. all unstuck. It's just this one side right here. All right, so now I flip this over. It should just come right out. There. And I'm just going to flip this back over like this. There we go, I got my nice loaf. So now I'm gonna go put this in the freezer to cool. Just makes the cooling time a lot faster. And then I'll be right back to make the icing drizzle. Right. So now I'm going to make the icing. And it's very simple, it's just three ingredients. So it's icing sugar, lemon juice, and some vanilla extract. You can use real lemon juice. I like to have these on hand, the uh, real lemon and the real lime or just other lemon and lime juice. It just makes it so much easier when you want to make a recipe and you don't always have to have the lemons on hand. So you need half a cup of icing sugar. And my icing sugar's got ooh, lots of lumps. 
So I'm just going to go and grab my sifter because this is going to be a very lumpy icing. I didn't realize I was going to have to sift my icing, but with just how much, how the big hard lumps I'm finding here, so, okay. icing sugar. Oh, there's a brand new bag. I just opened it and poured it into my container this earlier today. So just, I'm just going to sift it really quickly. So just half a cup of icing sugar. see all the hard lumps in my icing sugar. I don't know why that happens sometimes. These lumps up. taking the back of a spoon and just pressing it against the sides of the sifter. Really able to get a lot of this bigger chunk broken up too really fast. There we go. So we've got half a cup of sifted icing sugar. I'm just going to clean some of this up because I'm going to get Icing sugar everywhere. I don't do that. And we add a quarter cup of the lemon juice. I hate to have to you know, take real lemons and squeeze them to get this amount of lemon juice. That's why I love having these on hand. There, and then just gonna whisk these together. So we get a really nice light icing or drizzle. And I'm just going to add a little bit of something just fell in there. Don't know what it was. I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla extract just so it gives a little more sweeter flavor. And it also does change the color. Now the drizzle is ready to be put on top, although I think it's a little thinner than I would like. I like my icing a little bit thicker. I'm just going to just a couple lumps over here. I'm just going to stir and see. Yeah, I think I'm going to add a little bit more icing sugar. I do like it when it drizzles, but I like a little bit of thickness so it kind of stays where it's put. And then because I didn't sift that, I got a lot of lumps, which is what I was trying to avoid, which is why I brought my sifter out. It's okay, just have to squish the icing sugar lumps down with the back of the spoon. all these lumps are done and then I'll grab my loaf and uh, I will pour the icing on so I'll be back in just a few moments all right got my loaf out of the freezer and I've got it on a nice serving dish and now I'm just going to drizzle the icing on top and I did add more icing sugar to make this a lot thicker so I think I've got closer to uh, three quarters of a cup of the icing sugar to half a cup or a quarter cup of lemon juice. I'm just going to 
pour this right over the top. Just gonna grab a little whisk, or not whisk, a uh, spatula, and scrape this out. Now I could have made it even thicker the way it just kind of ran right off. Okay. I've never made this type of a icing before, so it's quite runny. I think it would have been better with a half a or a full cup of icing sugar. Take the icing sugar, or the, just take the icing that's dripped down and just kind of place it back on top. I'm just going to put this in the fridge, then the icing will harden, and I'm just going to keep scooping it up on top. So that is my quick and easy poppy seed lemon loaf using a lemon cake mix and a lemon pudding mix. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep doing this so I get more icing on the top and less running down the sides because it is as it does this is getting thicker. And it is actually staying in place more, which is kind of what I wanted. But never made this recipe before. Thought it was thought it would be worth a try. And I was looking there's variations of this with other cake mixes and pudding mixes so I can't wait to try those out too. Okay, uh, so again I just want to say thank you so much to everybody who subscribes to my channels, watch my videos and likes and shares and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.